We've been receiving questions from students about how the upcoming changes at IUP will affect their studies. In some cases, the changes are minor and will hardly be noticed, but in other cases, the changes are large with a lot of detail. We expected questions, and we hear you, and I'd like to take a moment now to address some of the questions we've been asked most. Some of the more common questions students are asking are about their major and degree programs. You want to know if you will have to change majors. You want to know if you can still get the degree you signed up for. The answer is, whatever degree you're studying for right now, you can finish it. If you've already declared a major, you can finish that major. Your degree requirements will not change. Any upcoming changes affect only future IUP students. It's also important to know that most majors won't be changing at all. If a major is renamed or if it's moved between colleges, that does not change its requirements. In cases where a degree program will no longer be offered at IUP, we're preparing a teach-out plan. That's a plan to provide every student in those programs with the courses they need to finish their degree. Those plans are still being developed, but they'll be available well before the reorganization takes effect next fall. And as a current student, you'll also have the option to switch to these new requirements if you'd like. Our new college structure will make some exciting new interdisciplinary academic programs possible. And if one of those interests you, you can switch to the new requirements. But as always, please plan carefully with your advisor to make sure that you don't delay your graduation. Another question has been how this will affect your diploma. Students want to know what program or major name will appear. Well, IUP doesn't include program names on our diplomas, so we're not making any changes here. As always, you will have on your diploma your name and the name of your degree. That is, Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Arts, Master of Arts, and so on. Your major, concentration, or minor will appear on your transcript, as always. A third theme of questions from students has been the areas of academic focus. Students want to know what it means for them if they are not studying a topic within those areas of focus. Are their programs and majors still important? The answer is yes, they are very important. Whether or not they are in a focus area, these programs and majors are a core part of what makes IUP IUP. The areas of focus are places where three things line up. Strong demand from students, strong demand from employers, and real academic strength at IUP in that area. We will be investing more in those areas because those are the areas that can help IUP grow and thrive as an institution in the coming decades. But investing more in those areas does not mean that IUP is becoming a technical institute. IUP is a university. IUP will remain a university. We believe in the importance of a broad education that leaves all our students with an understanding of the arts, humanities, natural sciences, and social sciences. That kind of diverse education enables our alumni to enjoy full, rich lives and to play constructive roles in their communities. So, the areas of focus are there to help IUP respond to what the market wants and to make sure that we preserve IUP for future generations. Alongside those focus areas, we will maintain the broad education that IUP has always offered. The big final group of questions from students have been around faculty retrenchment. Why are some faculty members losing their jobs and why are particular faculty members, even those who teach in our areas of focus, the ones to go? Those are good questions. They're hard questions. But first, a word about retrenchment and why we use the term. This is the word used in our contract with faculty. It means reducing our workforce because of financial necessity. And that financial necessity is very real. Retrenchment is not a step I or anyone wanted to take. We're losing gifted teachers, trusted student advisors, and respected researchers. We're also using, losing important staff members and managers. But if we want to keep IUP going, we have no choice. As to why particular faculty members receive notices, well, faculty retrenchments follow a process that's outlined in our contract. The process generally follows reverse seniority, which means that our newest faculty members are most likely to lose their employment at IUP, regardless of college, department, or focus area. That means no matter what your major, your academic department may see some faculty retrenchments. We're going to say goodbye to faculty members in many departments. That's hard. It's hard on departments, it's hard on students, 
but I can promise you that we will do everything we can to help everyone through these difficult transitions. Thank you for watching. Thank you for how much you care about IUP. Please keep asking questions and stay engaged. These aren't easy times for IUP, but I know that with all of us working together, IUP will emerge from this time stronger and better prepared for its future. Thank you.